all these experiences. You create memories. You create throwback Thursdays. You do all this shit. Man Crush Mondays. Whatever the fuck. This is it. Start telling yourself this is the one. You start picturing shit in the future. You start telling yourself that's how the future is going to be. You've already told yourself, like, this is what it is. So when you don't do it, it feels like a failure. It's not a failure. You have to let people go, bro. You have to let people go. Because you don't know what's coming for you. There was a time in high school, the first girl that ever sucked. I thought that was the girl that was going to suck my dick forever. Because I didn't think I was ever going to find a girl like this dirty, dirty high school girl. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what? Almost every fucking girl since then has uh, been amazing in bed. It's totally fine. They're fun. There's funny ones. There's not funny ones. It's like picking up an avocado, homie. You got to squeeze a few. You can't be fucking just picking up the first avocado, taking it home, and acting like this is the only avocado in a store because we're out here making guaca fucking moly all right so stop just stop with the shits <laughs> that's, it. <laughs> uh, that's a classic one i can't see yet i haven't even got camera is crooked as fuck if from where you're sitting yes from when you're you stand right here and look down it doesn't I mean, look that's fine <laughs> asking you if you're serious yo unscrew what? it this part's screw. loosened Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. The camera's crooked as shit from where I'm sitting. So crooked. I tell if it's crooked from the top and the back, why don't you just do this from the front? Yeah. So today is the second anniversary of the vlog. Oh shit. Then we need to party. Do we? We partied yesterday. Oh yeah, that's right. You even played Cam Jam. I won Cam Jam. You did so win fucking, Cam Jam. I didn't just play, I fucking won. You did. That was amazing. Show the neighborhood what's up. Yeah. It was really popping up. To a social event. Played a game. Two games, actually. You won and had know. to stay in to play again. So yeah, Supreme was this morning. They had towels. I didn't get any. I tried, but I didn't get any. I didn't really try. They also did a kayak oh and a life God. jacket. We've been looking to get a kayak, too. The kayak is 500 bucks. Probably resell for fucking insane. Uh, what else happened that was funny? Oh, uh, fucking. So now there's a fan theory on the fucking Drake God's plan fucking shit, and this shit is so far fetched. Wait, is this about Kanye this thing? No. Oh, well, people saying it's a like Kanye diss album or whatever. No, but now people are saying. I saw somebody tweeting this morning. That's where I thought you were going with this. Is that somebody was saying that it's fucked because Drake came out to Wyoming. Okay, first that yeah, you're talking about the tweet you know that I quoted because I, I quoted that tweet and said oh. it's not okay to hide. Your children it's ridiculous yes. yeah yes that's not what i'm talking about but that is stupid i'm not even going to go into that because of that are saying that he revealed his child on god's plan because when he says i only love my bed and my mama that apparently fucking the kid's middle name is my bed or some shit or his name is my bed and they were trying to say that that was like it's a fan theory it's not it's complete uh, yeah, bullshit yeah. is what it is but i'm just like you guys are fucking ridiculous drake stands all my shit off every weekend i'm gonna Crazy. Oh, people are crazy with yeah. their music. And the funny thing about the fandom thing is you pick a guy you like and you're taking his side. Like Drake fans are sticking by Drake. It could be the best Pusha T album in the world. Or the best Pusha T diss and you're just being like, nah, he didn't get my man on that. You know, it I felt- guess. I just think it's, I'm just looking at it because I'm not a huge fan of any of them. You know what I mean? Like not fully. I'm not like, oh, everything Pusha's ever done is fucking amazing. Or, no. Oh, even every, oh, like, everything Kanye's done is No, amazing. I'm saying you and I can look at it with perspective because we're not huge fans of either person. But like if somebody came at Kodak Black, it would be hard for me to like admit that Kodak It's like Kodak, Kodak, Kodak stand. Yeah. It's hard for you to admit that Kodak got smoked. Are you serious? You know those fucking things that you pull the string on and it goes, dog. Fucking one of those could smoke Kodak Black on a fucking battle rap. Get the fuck out of here. <coughs> but like when Meek Mill got beat by Drake. He didn't know. That was the fucking problem with all these fucking social media fucking pussies. He didn't get beat by Drake. Everybody tried to like fucking pile on with some bullshit. Fucking hold my man's down. Like, like play one Drake song <coughs> and play the first three songs or the first track off of the last three. Meek Mill Oh, albums. no, no, no. All right, it, so you didn't fucking okay, do anything. Okay, but in one to one. All I said was, is that your tour or your girl's tour? Which is like the fucking lamest shit. Like, I uh, guess. It's neither. We're, we're both getting paid. We both, we both, you know how a tour works, Drake? Like, well, yeah. I gotta hit you with some sensical shit. Actually, it's both of our tours because we're both getting paid, you fuck. Yes, me. but back to back is a hotter song than no. the response that Meek yeah. Mill yeah, granted, came with okay, at the sure, time. Sure, I guess. Except for back to back has Drake's fucking whiny voice on it. I'll never take it seriously. 
<coughs> oh look, I hated it too, but when I heard it, I remember being like, oh damn. I don't remember the song, I can't remember anything he said other than is that your tour or your girl's tour? It's literally the only thing, so cool. The beat's hot too. Cool, you rhyme fucking your and girl. I, I get it, but I'm just saying. Tour and tour rhyme together. But I'm right? saying, I, the reason I'm saying that though, is I'm saying like, I like Meek way more than Drake, and when that happened, I couldn't. Yeah, everybody tried to get onto some fucking, they tried, tried to get behind an R&B dude because they like his R&B songs, and they, they let him fucking try to sun out Meek Mill. And then once Meek Mill went to jail again, everybody acted like they love Meek Mill again. I know. And everybody well, was like, free Meek Mill, free the, I'm like, not that they're related, like you can like. I know, not, I know. You know, not But want. everybody was like, fuck Meek Mill, you yeah. got whack, he ain't nothing, and then all yeah. of a sudden all there's a sudden. good cause behind it. It's yeah. like, yo man, I've been down yeah. with Meek Mill. And Meek Mill fucking crushes Drake at, on every level. Let's just oh, be yeah. serious. Guys let this shit happen. It's no worse than fucking tattooing. Like, tattooers sat around and let people, like soccer moms, come in and get these little dainty tattoos and they like little infinity signs and all this shit that they all complain about every day on social media. Like, oh yeah. man, tattooing's changed. It changed because you let people change it. You know, everybody sat there and fucking did all these little rinky-dink fucking stupid tattoos and then now they're complaining about it. It's like, well, you weren't complaining when you're getting 100, 200 bucks a pop for this tattoo. You actually, you go in the back and you laugh about it. Like, damn, this chick Pay me two hundred dollars right to wear breathe on her wrist. Yeah, that's fucking ill. I'm gonna go fucking buy and I'm gonna go make my car payment. You know, and yeah. everybody like everybody enjoys the fruits of it, but yeah. they don't want to complain about it. That's just where I'm at. I've never fucked with him, so I'm not gonna start fucking with him now. There's not much he could do. The only time he ever really got my respect, not that he gives a fuck, is when he the guy's playing like using the budget super cool of him that, you know using the budget to help other people but the first time i heard him was on some little wayne shit yeah fucking in a different building we got the same deals i know yeah. the song yeah and i remember i remember wearing every fucking dude that looks like you was wearing we're fucking listening to that shit in dc but i was just like oh shit and then dudes are trying to sell tell me shit like talking shit like yo we be in the same building we got different views i'm like motherfucker we're in the same apartment building with the same exact fucking shit Calm down. You're not Drake. You're not fucking shit. Fucking shut up. That's what I don't like. It gets people to like feel themselves so much when they don't have anything going on. Like what kind of kind of? Well, it's like when we what? talk about people in Vegas that are just out there fronting like it's a the prestige. Shit. It's a fucking. You listen prestige. to Drake and you become your Vegas self. Yeah, yeah. That's how you turn. That's how you morph into your final fucking Vegas form. Like hold on, hold on. Put that track on real quick. Let me get my motherfucking cool water out. I need to hook it up. See, I just Ugh, put on Kodak. It's not my vibe. That's all there is to it. I don't even know why we talk. And the more I talk about Drake, the more people are like, God, you're obsessed with hating Drake. I'm like, I'm not. It's just that there's all this shit right now, and everyone is talking about it. So, yeah. Chime in. Because I just think he's just. Have like, you heard oh. the new NBA Young Boy? Nope. I, I don't plan on it. Well, I listened because I'm like, I'm, I always listen to just the same shit. So I mm. saw it was out. Whack. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even check for that. It's like wannabe, like a lot of, I don't know, dude. It sounds like it's biting a lot of shit. I guess everything just sounds similar. And then it's just, it's just not original. There's nothing interesting that he's fucking talking about. Nobody's really making interesting rap music. Nobody well, wants Kanye. to talk, who wants to talk about it? I mean, it's interesting if you care about Kanye. Yeah. Because if you have, if you don't have context to a Kanye <coughs> album, then it doesn't really. Like, but I mean, there are to, weird like, songs like about his daughter and that shit like that's not and that honestly doesn't even interest me the song where he's talking about his daughters yeah, I skip it. it's I like skip it but i just like don't really love it me yeah. too and, and i do it if i'm in the gym or something i skip it the shit's slow and, and it's, now that fucking thing only makes me think of the tweet because the girl who fucking that album came out and this i don't know who the lady is but she's definitely like super feminist type girl she like touches on the fact that it's basically misogynist because like now you have a daughter you're basically giving us a list of all the things that you do wrong to women and big, a bigger part of the problem you know you're trying to hold women to the standard they can't do yoga they can't like how dare you have a nice body instead of telling me not to have a nice body why don't you control your sexual urges you're talking about your daughter here and it's like yeah it's really crazy thing and i'm like all right i even tweeted her back i was like damn father stretch your hands on this one i'm like it's a little bit yeah. of a stretch i yeah. get it but it's also not a song for me. But I do think you need context for a Kanye album now. You don't just get to like sit down and listen to a Kanye album and understand it like you used to. Yeah. Like, you have to kind of know what was going on for the last year. Yeah, it's check true. That, that new album out. Produced really well, but still. Nas, your album, my least favorite album. Nas just can't do it for me anymore. One Mic is the last song I can really get into. I'll tell you, across all of them, I just have some favorite songs. Yeah, like, I have two or three favorite songs, and that's it. And the production is good on a lot of it. 
Pusha T, I love. That might be my favorite one, honestly. Good. I still haven't really listened to it in a couple of That Santa Ria song's dope. I've just been listening to Bobby Raps a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah, Bobby Raps and Corbin. The new Kevin Gates, I've listened to quite a bit. It's all really old shit. I was listening to old Bob Deep the other day, because I don't listen to old shit anymore. I'm always listening to old Bob Deep. I think there's some of the best shit out there, dude. I think old Bob Deep is, like, incredible. Good. It's just not good when you have to hear it around every time you're around someone from New York. They're always fucking Talk halfway cooking the fucking goddamn radio. Is there a halfway cook? Because you got some fucking soup that you need to put on, homie. So we're gonna have to maneuver this differently. I think I have to move that computer out of there. Okay, how come? Well, how are we gonna have room for all this shit? There's a fucking huge piano coming today. Wait. There's a piano? There's a piano? Yeah, I told you I ordered the fucking. Oh yeah, keyboard. I thought you meant you had like an actual you know, have... piano. I'm like, what the fuck did you do? No. Okay. Um, I don't know. I just don't know if there's gonna be. I guess we have to figure out how we're gonna set all this up in there. Really, it's really what we gotta figure out how to set up the podcast. What is an acoustic massage? I don't know. Shit is expensive. To like, play music. So acoustic cool. massage is for for 75 minutes is 300 dollars. For 135 minutes is fucking 600 dollars. Yeah, my massage lady is so crazy. She has an access consciousness. Symphony session, coaching, facilitation, clearing session, distance, ultimate body restoration with Allison, $900. What the fuck is that? Yeah, she's ill. Yeah, I never got done big. Look how weak your fucking chalk hand is. Can you hit fucking happy crowd with fucking safe cracker? No, man, not bigger, just it's harder. Oh. Now you're taking up too much room. Erase that big ass. Just write it like you mean it. I don't know how your shit is so thin. I get that a lot. <laughs> mm. Alright, so I'm just gonna build a, a sticker pack so we can get the ball rolling. Finally, dude. Now the store can be oitsteady.myshopify.com. Finally. Yeah, I'm kind of at a standstill because I have to wait for all these responses. A bunch of shit to draw. So I'm gonna end up drawing most of that today. And then we're waiting on PDFs so we can get those over to the right people. And then we're kind of just waiting to put everything together for the next drop. I mean, yeah, we have all the ideas. We know what we want to do. We're just kind of stuck waiting. Today is a waiting day. Today on the second year anniversary of the vlog, we wait. Yeah. Here we are. It's like a positive attribute. Little update here. Today has been a work day all morning. Got here at about 9.30 and Teddy and I have just been cranking away on this next drop. Um, I built, I've redone oitsteddy.com. It's no longer linked to Boost Heaven. It's linked to our new store. Um, <coughs> we're actually gonna throw some prints up at Teddy's this evening. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, you know, hype a minute ago. You yeah, were all I was. Like, I just built. We're crushing it. All right, here we, go, here we go. Websites. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I was killing it, bro. Yeah. I was like, damn dog. Why don't you tell the vlog? What you're yeah. Doing? And now you're over. No, I'm psyched because I built. You sound like you're reporting into your fucking all right. boss. Um, I've been. You know, I don't know why you're firing me. I don't know why. I did this. I did, I did this. that. Teddy, you've been in there all morning. Like, yeah. What? Long story short, is um, I built. TheHiddenPodcast.com, which is going to be our podcast website. Link is right here. I also built OhIt'sTeddyFNF.com a few days ago, but did some final tweaks on that. That thing's up and running. We've got a lot of people subscribing. It's awesome. For those of you who don't know about it, it's a friends and family program. $20 a month. Every drop, you will get a lookbook in an order form. You don't have to wait for drops. You don't have to wake up for drops. You can pick whatever you want, and you're guaranteed to get it. You're also going to get priority shipping and be the first people to get priority, it. Shipping. priority shipping basically means that you know now before these drops we're gonna we're gonna already have the inventory we're gonna basically as soon as you fill out your order form we're shipping your stuff it could be a day or two before the drop you know so basically you guys are getting stuff immediately those orders come in first orders so coming first get shipped first there it is that's what priority means there it is you've got the fucking priority now so for just twenty dollars you get that and you don't have to worry about drops even if you just live in a place where it's annoying to get up early in the morning to make sure you hit the drop it's almost worth it 
content for that. But and um, it's also there's exclusive content that you're not talking. About. I was going next for that. Oh, okay. That's I saved that for the end because wow, that's so the big. The that's the yeah. The the big part is that there's exclusive content. There's exclusive shirts that are going to come out only for the friends and family people on these order forms, and they're not going to be available to anyone else. So it's what a, happens when we come to their town for a pop up that we're just still doing this summer because yeah. we're still going to do some pop ups. Then when we come to your town for a pop-up this summer, I'm going to smack you in the mouth. No, what are we doing in the town? Wait, 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 wait. If they're friends and family, they get priority. Oh, yeah, if your friends and family get priority when and we come around, too. if they're friends and family and they're not in their town, they can still get the merch that we normally never drop. Oh, out. yeah, that in itself. That's something special right there. Um... All right, up next. So the websites are done. I'm gonna roll some weed up. They're not done. The beginning of building them is done. The, even tonight when we drop these prints, it's just gonna be um, kind of a basic template with this stuff. This isn't gonna be our final. Under construction, you got the Geocities. Yeah. yeah. You got the Angel Fire. Yeah. Under construction right Under now. Under construction joints. Remember they yeah. used to be spinning? The old internet was insane. I was on Prodigy. For those of you who don't know about Prodigy, that was before it was my bitch up. Not that. Proud of you. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna roll this joint and get back to work, but we got a lot of ordering We got samples of shirts coming so we could try some new garments out see where we're going with the t-shirts And we just pan got a lot of pant embroidery. Yeah, we got pant embroidery going on. We got we got hats. so much shit hats matcha, matcha ashtrays uh, That that's your update. We'll be back with a joint. Actually. I'm gonna show y'all how to roll this motherfucker Are you kidding me? Those the happy crapping? Dude, down the back of a shirt, <clears throat> shit would be fucking... <laughs> I like that they can't see it, you're just under there. We still gotta do the blazing hottie shirt. Dude, go back, that snake shooting the fucking flames up is badass. Yeah. Is this the beginning of Happy Cry? Mm-hmm. It is. It's the very first fucking... I did both. That was like gonna be the first drawing, and then I was like, well, that's whatever, you know what I mean? And then yeah. it came to me. It actually came to me in the shower. I know. That's dope. Is this new? I've never seen I that. I just drew it. I'm sitting oh. here drawing it right now. Oh, it looks sick. I've been drawing it the whole time I've been sitting here. I don't know. I'm not looking at what you're doing. I'm just working. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh my god. That's sick. There's like so many of them. There's the fucking White Walkers. There's the Night Watch. There's like, there's so many. Again, like the shoe colors are cool, whatever. I mean, yeah. they got like ATR taping and shit. I know, I'm still. I know. I know. I'm like, bro, why the fuck is it gotta be? Cut the watch leg it, off. Watch it end up being like a super limited, like only for cast members fucking release or some shit. And we're gonna walk <laughs> Everybody's gonna be like, ah! How many people are in the night watch? It's gonna become real Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. You have to actually battle each other in real life. And life imitates art today in a real life turn of events. Normally we're talking about patent leather when we're talking about shoes like this, but no. Game of Thrones shoes have released only in Newberry Comics around the world, and there's been riots in the street. Nerds have united and formed clans. Yeah. They They've been playing video games too long for contests. There's nerds for sneakerheads. Yeah, sneakerheads are like, oh, a line? They're like casting spells and shit. Yeah. All these LARPers are out there just crushing it. Omar's never slept so long during the day. The sites are up, the podcast, and all of that podcast shit will be here tonight, so I that's see. what I'll do when it gets here. I'll set up the mixer. Oh, and, and the butters are here. Set up the thing. Yeah, they're supposed to be here, but the mail already came, and they're not here. Yeah, mine's not there either. It's supposed to be. This holiday can find Welcome, see, look, we're in the... <laughs> yeah, we're in the same thing. Yeah, 4th of July, I might have fucked it up. <clears throat> but my, all my shit says out for delivery. I don't know. Oh, wait, I gotta call an Uber. I'm not leaving yet. I'll see you. Alright, I'll see you later or tomorrow. Yeah. What the hell is today? Today is Thursday. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Is there a box out there? Hell yeah. Yeah, they weren't there. He must have just come back and dropped them off then. Rewrapped. Rewrapped, resealed, must have. Oh shit, my shit busted open. This could be an L. Alright, I'll see you. We'll catch it on the vlog, homie. Right, An empty box of bricks. Nice. This color's dope, man. People are dripping. Creamy butter. What's up with you? That's a shoe. Are you okay? So, shout out to Lapstone and Hammer for these. They hooked it up. They got me and Ern his pair. I also have a pair coming off of Adidas, I think, but I 
gave that I gave that pairs gone to someone. I just uh, any extra pairs of this I just sold for retail. Butters are here. Another pair coming up that I'm saving for a project. That's about it. That's all I have of these. So yeah, shout out to the Lapstone and Hammer. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to Rack. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Butters. Hey, how are you? Good. No more. Wait. Groceries. Come on. Let's go outside. Let's see you walk. Go. You took a spill yesterday. Can you walk for me? Come on. Yeah, you're hobbling a little bit. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here for me. Come here, bud. I need to check you out. Come here. Bubs, Omar, come here. Come here. Did you hurt yourself? Do you need to call a doctor? Hmm? Outside. Come on. Come on. This way. You don't seem to be hurt. You might just be worn out. You might just be sore. Huh? You just sore. Come on. He went after a frisbee yesterday while we were playing a game next door and he landed all crazy on his side and then he was kind of like wobbling but then he was fine and then now he just seems like he's i can't really tell get out of the groceries dude these are mine these are not yours also full disclosure uh last night I was hanging out and there was no food here to eat because i thought that we were going out to eat. That plan ended up getting delayed. And then around 9.30, I headed over to Whole Foods, but they were closed by who I was with suggestion when I even kind of knew they were gonna be closed. So I was forced to either not eat, which I was starving, or eat pizza, because there's a pizza hut right down the street. Yeah, I know, it's pretty ridiculous that I haven't eaten pizza in months. A pizza hut is what I got to eat, but I was starving. So I got a pizza, I got a thin crust cheese pizza. I had three slices of it, and I woke up this morning at like four and I wanted to die. And then all morning this morning, my stomach hurt. And just now it's like two o'clock and my stomach is not uh, just cramped all crazy. As I knew it would be, but now I definitely don't want to eat anything other than what I eat, mostly salad and steaks. This Whole Foods, for whatever reason, has like no salad or no steaks. So I gotta order steaks from a butcher, I guess. Oh, there's definitely a difference there. I think you're just tired, huh? You are so beat down and tired. You keep trying to go outside and play. I think you just need to rest it off. But if you're still limping in a day or so, keep going to the dock. Packages came in. Shout out to Sweetwater. We got a motherfucking mix. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Ugh. Mixer. Ugh. So we got complete control. S61 keyboard. This thing is gonna be ridiculous. And then we got this ultimate. Complete came with it. This all went on sale, so I was like gonna buy this for years and I never bought it. And then this is expensive. And this went on sale for half price last week. So I like couldn't really, I just couldn't not cop it. So now we have that. I honestly just split it into three payments. And it's gonna be paid off in no time, so whatever. So that's pretty much the day because I've gotta set the rest of this shit up. I gotta continue to draw. I gotta eat some lunch, just bake some cheese for my salad. I got some iced tea and then yeah. So I'm gonna set stuff up, organize, clean, 
you know, get things ready, start editing this vlog, all that jazz. Make sure my baby's okay and uh, live my motherfucking life. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow while I'm living that motherfucking life. All right, live your motherfucking life. Peace! Stressed out, these texts out, bless how they hate now. Backed up with black scuffs, they ain't trying to test now. Save that, these prayer songs, pay back in their wrong. Stay strapped with a safe cap, no pain back.